try to learn a few facts about peripheral vascular disease in diabetes. This is a condition where there is reduced blood supply to the extremities, especially the leg or the foot. The patient experiences pain while walking in the calf or thigh region, a symptom called intermittent claudication. The presence of peripheral vascular disease predisposes the patient to cardiovascular disease, foot ulcers or amputations. In order to prevent these complications, the patient must examine his feet every day for signs of skin breakage. The foot must be kept clean at all times. Appropriate fitting footwear and clean socks must be worn. The blood sugars must be maintained at an optimal level always. Whenever there are problems with the patient faces, he must see a podiatrist or a foot care specialist. the tips for preventing diabetes complications. First and foremost, it is important to maintain blood sugars optimally with the HbA1c level below 7. The blood pressure has to be maintained below 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury. The blood cholesterol also is important and the LDL level below 70 is recommended. Periodic eye checkups are recommended at least yearly once to detect early retinopathy. Presence of kidney disease also has to be evaluated by doing blood urea and serum creatinine levels and urine protein estimation at least yearly once. Patient self-examination of the feet is also an important part to prevent complications of foot ulcers and gangrene and amputations. discussing a few details about kidney disease in diabetes. Kidney functions can be estimated by doing blood urea and serum creatinine levels or a urine protein estimation. These tests are to be done at least yearly once. When our kidney functions are deranged, the blood pressure and blood sugars must be maintained at optimal levels to prevent further progression. Antihypertensives like ACE inhibitors and ARBs may be started which are known to prevent further progression of kidney disease. Moreover, protein intake should be restricted as proteinuria will worsen with excess protein intake. For this, the help of a dietitian or diabetes educator may be taken.